Hello friends, welcome to the series of metaphor information videos. So I am addressing here all the people who are in the field of healing, therapies as well as transformational processes. I am very often asked this question as to what I do in my career, how did I come across metaphor therapy. So just to introduce myself, I am Kirti Bakshi. I'm a psychotherapist and a trainer in the fields of applied psychology, hypnotherapy and other modalities. Uh, I came across many therapies during my 15 years long career as a therapist and I have come to understand that as a therapist, as a healer, as a counsellor or as a person who is responsible for transforming lives, we are going along many many techniques. So when we have a client with us, we need to have a bag full of techniques, which means we must know how to juggle our techniques from one to the other. However, when I saw a lot of people practicing, I figured out that they have preferred modalities of work. And when it came to counseling, I felt that the counselors were missing therapeutic techniques. When it came to therapist, I figured out they were missing counseling techniques and then there are some techniques that lie right in between. So I was on the lookout for a technique that would actually help me to integrate my knowledge of counseling as well as my knowledge of therapies and also healing. And that's where I discovered metaphor therapy. Metaphor therapy is a unique tool that actually facilitates counseling, therapy and healing all in one go. So what is metaphor therapy? Metaphor therapy is the use of projective techniques. So it is said that the subconscious mind stores information in the form of images. Now do we really know those images? Can we really study those images? We are often going by what the client tells us. But there is so much more when they show us something. The images that they show us are called as metaphors and the art of working with these images is called metaphor therapy. There are three kinds of metaphors. You have the visual metaphor, the verbal metaphor and the imaginary metaphor. So in my workshops in basic metaphor and advanced metaphor, that's what I train into. I love the modality. I have trained over 5000 people, keep getting constant feedbacks from them as to how effective a tool it has been in their therapeutic journey. So for example, if a client walks into our cabin and says, I do not want hypnotherapy and we know that we are basically primarily operating from a platform of hypnotherapy, uh, aren't we a little bit at a loss like to understand what should we do with them? Now you have a counseling setup where people are looking at transformational dialogues, a conversation that heals, a conversation that transforms. That is exactly what metaphor does. It, the trances that we introduce in metaphor therapy are not hypnotic trances, but yet they are deep enough trances. So we have to understand the world of metaphors is a very, very enriched world. We can do phenomenal transformative work without making the client go into deep trances of hypnotherapy and other elite sciences or other elite arts that we are looking into. So let me now tell you that when a client walks into my cabin, what are the tools that I use? I often get them to draw a landscape, something that looks like this. Now this is a landscape which my client has done for me. The same client was giving me a narrative about her life. And when she gave me this drawing, I looked at the drawing and I could figure out that her narrative is really not reflecting the deeper areas of her life. Whereas this drawing was showing me that there has been series of relationships which she has not been able to successfully experience. There is a lot of intellectual uh, aspiration that the client has. The client belongs to a knowledgeable background. However, in growing up years did not get enough space for expression. And in the future, she is looking at achieving some kind of a balance between her career, her creativity, but is unable to get out of her comfort zone. So when I told her that this is all what your drawing has to reveal, trust me, like 90% of the other people, she was surprised. 
she didn't know how a simple drawing like this could reveal so much about her not only this this drawing tells me so much more about so many other areas of her life this is what we call as a visual metaphor and then we have imaginary metaphors then we have verb uh, uh, decoding the metaphor in a verbal manner so these are the techniques then sometimes we use this as a projective technique and there will be six more techniques that you will be learning in the course in which you will go in a 40 minute session understanding the client's subconscious mind developing their metaphors to a transformational process as well as closing your session with a healing technique so welcome to the world of metaphors at any point of time you have any curiosity about what are metaphors google is your best bet world over the therapists are using metaphor therapy as a huge interventional tool lot of researches in metaphor therapy have been published online i invite you to look into the world of metaphor and hope to see you sometime in a workshop thank you